Hello YouTube, this is Crosscheck and welcome once again to a very exciting video. This time we are on DCS, we are on the alpha of 2. Point, uh, I don't know if it's, two, I think it's 2.0 alpha uh, or 2.5, I'm not sure. No, I think it's 2.0. Anyway, we are on the Steam alpha for DCS. Uh, we are on the Nevada map, that, uh, that's a payware map, really cool actually. And we are online. We are on a server called Aerobatics Online Nevada M2A underscore U4B. That's the way it's called. Well, the, the mission. The server is Aerobatics Online Nevada. And we are going to be flying the one and only uh, Alpha Victor 8 Bravo November Alpha, which is a Harrier Night Edition. Uh, AKA night, night attack. Um, okay, let's do Chevy 4 1. Let's go to the briefing and fly. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, here we are. Ah, uh, there's something about this simulator that is just beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay, let's do this quite quick. What we want to do is uh, get the Harrier into the carrier. Sounds fun, huh? Well, it is quite challenging. So, uh, how do we start up this uh, aircraft? Actually, it is quite simple. First things first, battery. Whoops. Generator. And then over here, uh, the fuel pumps must be on this little switch up here and this is the fuel shutoff lever that should do it for now now we can start the APU well actually it's not the APU I think it is the engine but uh you're still not giving it any fuel Let's stop the warning thingy we can see this numbers increasing over here as well once they uh stop we are able to give it some fuel. There we go. We can give it a little bit of fuel. And now the engines are starting. Now control Charlie. This is getting quite noisy. To close this thingy right here. And now this is uh, some lights that I want to turn on. Uh, these are... Let me see... Whoa, what do you see there, buddy? The these are some controls that we are uh, the yaw, roll, pitch. We want those. The Q feel. This one over here, uh, not this one. This one, the flaps to on. Let's see this one to nav. And let's see. <laughs> it's kind of laggy. I think it's the server. That's a shame. Anyway, uh, we gotta turn this guys on. This one. 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 And this one. And let's turn the radio altimeter on. Click on this little button. This little button. And I think we are almost ready for takeoff. Uh, okay, the fuel, we are quite heavy. So we're going to dump some fuel on the air. We're not going to do a vertical takeoff. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's, let's put the Tacan of this airport, which is Tacan 12, enter on and track and receive what is up with this lag it's never been like this let's see if uh, it fixes up in the air okay so let's remove the parking brake there we go and 
Let's rock and roll. Whoa. This lag is uh, not being very helpful. Okay. The lag seems to be... Oh, no. There she is. Come on, man. Leave us alone. Okay. It seems we have uh, better FPSs now. Oh, the lag is gone. So let's continue. Oh, there goes the Harrier. I think I'm gonna want to. Uh, oh, there's the lag spike. Ooh, terrible. Well, that that that's a big one. That is a big one. Oh man. Okay, so it seems we uh got rid of the lag for now. We got some lag spikes now and then, but uh, hopefully we won't anymore. Uh, anyway, we're gonna try and land with about 3,000 pounds of uh, fuel. Right now we have 7,000, so we're gonna go into the air and start dumping some fuel. ASAP. Alright. There's definitely someone trying to land. That was kind of quite bumpy. But he landed. That's for sure. Up. Back into the air. Okay, full throttle. Here we go. 20 on 30, let's rotate. Plus it right gear up. Let's throttle down. We want that number down there, the RPM below 1000. We don't need it any, any higher. Uh, let's dump some fuel. Dumps are on, left and right. And let's keep an eye on that number. Okay, right now we're going to be flying to the water, which is... Ah, there is the carrier, actually, the smoke over there on that uh, river. How are we on? Okay. Let's go. Ah, this is beautiful. Okay. Let's keep it this way. Okay, how are we doing? 6,500. Still quite a, quite a bit to go. Let's, uh, let's grab some altitude just to make this a little bit more fun, huh? What do you think? we go. Adios, amigos. Do we have some, uh, someone in the skies around us? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Whoa. Twenty thousand feet. And we can get a little bit higher. Alrighty. How are we doing on fuel? Five thousand. Okay. Almost there. I'm gonna close my pumps uh, once we reach four thousand. There is a carrier. Right there, let me zoom into him. There he is. <sighs> Let's see how this works out. It is not it is not something easy. Okay, so... Mm, 
basically, let me just trim the aircraft. Basically, uh, this over here are the nozzles, and these are the degrees, and this is like a nozzle lock. We don't need it for uh, landing. For departure, it, it is a good idea to to use it. So we need this, and over here we have the water, right here. The water is very important. It gives uh, a little bit more thrust to the engines, and and the water keeps the engine uh, cool during this thing. The, the 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 problem is we have limited amount of water. We have 500 waters, aka H2O. Oh wait, 3,600. Oh my boy. My bad. Okay, fuel pumps out. Okay, throttle off. Let's go down. Let's go down, baby, down. And uh, let's let's put the flaps on stall, which is short takeoff or landing. 25 degrees, it seems, which is quite a bit. That should give us enough drag for a. Uh, expedited uh, approach <laughs> should be losing uh, some altitude real quick I mean, you can see we are losing altitude really quick and we are also losing speed so that is very good that is a extremely fast uh, descent okay so now we may also want to turn on the water to that is uh, landing mode. Over here is takeoff, off, and landing. So now it's on landing. You can see the engine makes a little sound. Can you hear that? Or the the water pumps maybe. Right now we're not using water. When we go full throttle, that's that's when. Oh, lag spike, lag spike. This is very dangerous when doing the approach. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the nozzle on uh, 60 degrees. You can also see it up here. 60 degrees. No throttle. Okay. Let's see how this maneuver goes. Whoa. 2,500 feet. Okay, let's trim the aircraft. Half throttle. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing down. gear. Okay, let's take it easy on this. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can go nozzles to 82. 82 is exactly aligned with the landing gear. So, that's why you're doing 82. You can see the throttle that I'm using over here. My nozzles. Oh boy. And my speed over here. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can put my uh, speed vector right where I want it. So there is a procedure that you uh, you can follow that is to align yourself with the uh, with this thing, the carrier. Uh, being parallel with it and then just jump jump over it. Let's see if we can do something like that. At the moment we have not used any of the water. It has not been necessary for the time being. Let's see. I'm 
trying to stabilize the aircraft. We want to be parallel to the carrier. If the ship was moving, we would want to uh, match its speed. But for the time being, well, it's not moving, so we don't have to match the speed. But we need to hover. Still no water being used. We are on the, on the limit of not using it. Okay, so now what I'm going to try to do is... Okay. Whoa there, buddy. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated than I wished it was. I'm gonna try to jump over to the aircraft parallel to the carrier. How's that? Okay, take it easy, take it easy. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Come on, come on. Don't be like this. Gentle. Oh, come on, don't be like this. Damn right. Come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta be more gentle. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, we are here, man. <laughs> that was not exactly uh, how it should have gone. But here we are. And for takeoff, it is, it is actually quite rather interesting. This is what we're going to do for takeoff. Uh, nozzles, let's set them to zero. And uh, what we're gonna do set this uh, nozzle brake or nozzle stopper to around uh, 60. 60 is good. Maybe 50. Let's just do 50. We still have the water on, but now let's change it to takeoff. We didn't use any water on this because I was very gentle. Uh, so that's good and we are also quite light we we don't have much fuel that that's he that helps us if we are very heavy oh where are you going bro oh, no 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 take it easy let's let's put the parking brake back on uh okay let's see so what we need to do is okay everything is in order we have the short takeoff landing flaps, water to takeoff, nozzle zero. We are gonna launch ourselves full throttle, nozzle zeros, and when we reach the end of the ca uh, carrier, we're gonna change our uh, nozzles to where we set the, the little nozzle brake. And that's gonna be like 50 degrees, and that should uh, give us some boost uh, upwards. That should be interesting. Okay, so let's try that out. And uh, uh, I need to remove the point and break. There we go. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna—I'm not gonna cheat by taking all of the runway. Let's let's do this from over here, from 400. As you can see, this is quite a short. Oh my goodness gracious! Hello there, helicopter person. Okay, so. Uh, let's see how we do. Okay, this is maximum nozzle. It stops at 55 because we have our little break there. That's really good. So, zero. Holding brakes. Let's do 100. There we go. Full throttle. Nozzle's back. And there he goes. Gear up. Let's grab some speed and nozzles all the way forward. Let's take it easy on the accelerator. Let's turn off our water. We uh, we used uh, 80 waters. 
so that's okay and uh yeah that's that's about it we're good to rock and roll keeping it real pretty pretty fun huh that's that's fun i'm gonna have to keep practicing this uh this is quite complicated as you can see but it is really well i mean i love <laughs> to do complicated stuff uh that's what uh sims are for aren't they they make it they make this really fun so uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep practicing and hopefully uh i'll vastly improve what do you think about this uh you want to try it out do you think it's cool this aircraft by the way is still an alpha but i think it's really looking really really good and the ones that did this aircraft also did the Mirage 2000C and I am quite pleased with how it works. A couple of uh, things, I mean nothing is perfect right, but I I'm really pleased with the Mirage and I think this, uh, this is one of my favorite aircrafts even though uh, a lot of work has to be done still, uh, there are a lot of things not still uh, simulated, but you can uh, fly it around and uh, you can you can use some of the weapons, which is really fun. I, I I'm still learning to use the weapons uh, successfully, so I'm gonna be working on that. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, this is the beautiful Harrier. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, please let me know your thoughts. Anyway, happy flying. Cross check out. <laughs>